Okay, this is, uh, I believe, where we left off. Or close to it, anyways. Uh, Roy got poisoned this time. A little unfortunate. But not the end of the world. Also, he missed his strength level up, so I changed the RN, apparently. Also, he missed his res level up and his luck level up. But he did get the speed level up, so that's still worth it. Um... Yeah, Boris also got poisoned, so they actually have been able to do a successful amount of 5 damage to Boris so far. And, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the other archer, yeah, he's over here waiting to die. That seems really ballsy. Let's do it. Oh, I forgot to turn animations on. Alright, I'll take that level up. That's pretty damn good. That is one that is really hard to complain about. Sure, we'll turn Elfin on too. Why not? That's just free XP for Sophie, so I think we're just going to have her go take care of that. Boris has got to go down here. He's got to get this village. I learned the hard way. He's about the only person I can trust to go down there alone. Um, where is Jared? Oh, there he is. We're gonna need him. Start coming up this way. In fact, we're actually gonna play for him on purpose here. Because he has a secret mission he has to do. join the group here. You can come over here. I've got stuff you need to do as well, actually. You need to heal up again. Oh yeah, that's right. Rudger picked up uh, Yoder. I should probably have him drop him off there. Interesting choice. Didn't expect to see him run over and do that. Oh, there's Sin. Yes, the soldier is Sin. We have another soldier. Which means the character, in this case, Cecilia, is kind of more or less at her limit. Um, I mean, 15 levels is not a negligible amount of levels. You know, she could get pretty decent strength. She could get pretty decent speed. Um... But she's never going to be particularly good, especially since Cecilia is not exactly known for having super high growth. Also, um, the defensive stats in 29 HP means that she's quite vulnerable. So not like an unusable unit, but one that's probably not going to see a, a substantial amount of use as the game goes on. But it also means that we are still down a staff user, because we're not allowed to have staff users in this game. Oh shit, I can't reach. Um, you're gonna have to back off. Make sure... Yeah, so you can't reach. Perfect. Alright. Free XP! Here we go. Try and... Like... Try and score Sophie here, Sophia. I'm gonna keep calling her Sophie, but Sophia here, as many kills as we can, because... Her base sets aren't exactly fantastic at this stage in the game, but being that she's level 1 means she's got a lot of potential to grow. And Sophia is... Well, I mean, her strength slash magic growth is pretty ridiculous. Her speed is, I believe, adequate. Her defense is kind of garbage, but a starting base of 10 defense is not, you know, not bad. It means it'll probably be good enough as the game goes on. And her red stat will, her red stat's huge, so she will very quickly overcome that two revs. The big problem is, of course, my flyers have five move, and I think when they promote they get six? Yeah, when they promote they have six, which... 
by no means horrible. It definitely gives me a, them a huge leg up on Boris here, who's still struggling to just, you know, be Boris here. Oh. Okay, we're good. Uh, you can sit there. You have sword equipped, right? No, we have javelin equipped for some fucking reason. 19, which is functionally 20. Okay, so she lives, and she's got a Vuln, and she's got uh, Fort Healing. So she should be fine. We can run you up here. Um, everyone else is... Well, actually... I could recruit Sim this turn. I didn't have to back off... Uh, I didn't have to back him all off. I could have had him go up forward. up. Now there is a mage, I believe, right here or here. One, two... How many mages moved? Can I see the mage down here? Yeah. Oops. They have five moves, so they get their standard move. So if he's here, for the sake of argument, one, two, three, four, five. Um, hopefully Jared's not in range. I don't think the mage is here. I think he's in one of these two spaces, right here. He might even be in the trees. I don't think I have too much to be worried about. I mean, he could pop out of the blue. But I don't feel like that's going to be a thing I have to worry about. Feeling overconfident. As I usually do in these situations, right before shit hits the fan. I think Boris is close to leveling up, right? I mean, sort of close. Pre-promotes... Be and all that, but all right, poison sucks, but again, fort healing will help a little bit. Oh, the Merc's coming out, huh? Ooh, that guy can actually do some damage. Boris, fuck him up. Don't let him think he can get away with that, or just let him get away with that. Yep, there's the mage. Oh boy, you guys are going to be in for the huge surprise here that I know is coming. And again, you don't get to see the panic set in. And the desperation as I search manically for the solution that I just am convinced is there but can't find it. But then I found it, spoiler alert. Alright, first we need to switch to the sword. You know what? Kill him. That's fine. Kill him. Kill him. You have plenty of health, and the fort will help to offset the poison. You'll be fine. Um, I can get out of your range, right? For the most part there, yeah. Right, you can go take this fort. I don't think you can reach. Yeah, two range can't. Alright, that guy, I believe, is... Steel Sword, right? Yeah, so he, despite having 14 speed, is only actually at an 8 speed. But he does not hit softly, per se. 19 is not particularly low. I don't feel like I want to use the elixir on that, though. You can run over here and hide. Ray, what's your def- or your res? This is not, like, stupidly low. 11 from that guy, and this guy is functionally 18, which is to say 6. So 6 and 11 is 17. Ray can tank if I heal him. Cost me a Vaughn, but I could do it. Or I could just let them come to me. I'm in no rush. We have a very slow-moving Lou here. Could get him across with Sophia. Um. Oh, should I reveal the surprise? I just have to move Elfin over. I can reveal the surprise. I think I'll. I think I'm gonna make you guys wait. I'm gonna make you guys wait and suffer here as you try and figure out or try to 
guess what the surprise over here... What is hiding over there? That so... It got me so, uh... Well, had me scared shitless initially until I realized I could... I found my way around it. Oh, but I need to get out of the archer's range. He's got pretty good range. Um, Sophie up here. Yoder, I, you know what, Yoder, you're you're fine right there, buddy. Um, if that guy wants a piece of Yoder, he can have it. I should probably heal you up just to be safe here. He's not in range, but if I need to use him on the next turn, I'd like him to be healthy. Anyone else need a little bit of healing? Uh, Jarrett, but he's getting a little bit of healing from the fort. Roy, but I don't want to burn an elixir if I don't have to, so I'm going to try and see if I can squeeze more use out of his HP where it is. In that case, we are going to slowly make our way over to this village, and it is, in fact, going to be slow, unless Boris can level up speed, like, I don't know, six points in the next uh, level up here. Although I think he doubles the Steel Axe guy, right? No? Hey, right, Boris, you need speed. Come on, buddy, you can do this. I believe in you. Boris, I've lost all faith in you. Come on. Oh, he did want a piece of Yoder. Oh, he does damage to Yoder. Damn straight you dodge that shit and kick his ass, Yoder. He thought he could hurt you. Not allowed to get away with that shit. Defense. Aw, oh, damn. That'd have been really fun. We're getting some of the poison cured. Taking some of that poison damage. How do we fare here? Oh, you actually doubled it. Oh, yeah, Steel Sword, duh. Um, I could set up a kill for So. She can throw a javelin. I mean, she can throw a javelin. I guess I could dance. If I'm going to play Greedy, I might as well play Greedy, right? Is just taking all the damage. All right. Greedy plays. Throw that javelin. Come on. Damn it. Well, we get a second shot. Although we don't thankfully have to throw a javelin on the second shot. Um, I do have to be careful. How do you fare? Uh, can you double the and kill the mage for me? No. You can. Pretty sure. I mean, I hate to use a killing edge on that, but... I can make it work. I can make it work if he fucks this up. Don't fuck this up, Lou. Oh my god, Lou. Really? You gotta... Really, Lou? God damn. Alright, fine. We'll do it this way. Playing greedy. Wee. I'm gonna kill this guy. And I'm gonna see if the Merc is nice enough to give Sophia another level up here. Alright, fine, fine. Because you have six speed, you can't... Yeah, that was a good joke. Um... Yeah, you can't double anybody. Crit chance is 10, so you're immune. You have a little bit of crit chance. You got a lot of crit chance. Um, uh, I probably shouldn't play this greedy, but I'm going to play greedy. Um, you know what? I'm going to have you come down. Wait, wait, wait. How much damage did this guy do? 21, functionally 20 if I have a sword. 
is 9 damage on 15, means she's sitting on 6. I don't think poison can do 6 damage. Playing greedy. Playing greedy. I don't care. Don't think poison can do 6 damage. I think the most it can do is 4. So we can do that, then we can get back on a fort and use a Vaughn on the next turn. Just so I can keep Boris on the move. That's what I need to be doing right now. And you can't reach anyone else, can you? No. Okay, well, there's my greedy little turn. Let's see how much I get punished for it. Really? He ended after Lou. Oh, for the damage, I suppose. He does do more damage to Lou, doesn't he? Fine, fine. Ow. Okay, Jared's getting nice and healed up. Sue's taking all that damage. But that's okay, because again, we can just come over here. Heal up. And if that guy wants to chase after Boris, you know, more power to him. I gotta get to that village. Okay, so, if I'm mis not mistaken, there's an archer and a merc sitting somewhere in this vicinity here. But I think it's time. I think I've made you guys stir long enough. Gotta show you what the little secret is up here. I don't think you're ready, but here we go. Oh yeah! The boss is a Manakite. With some insane stats. I mean, Manakites always have insane stats. But, yeah, Scott's, uh, <laughs> Scott is kind of tough, or at least I thought he was, because, and I'll explain the why after the fact. So, as you can see, he's got 24 defense, 27 with the fort, or the castle, or whatever the hell it's called, and he's got 12 resistance, or 15 with the, re the fort, and he heals 3 HP each turn that he take, um, that he's not dead. Let's go look at some of the damage outputs we can do here. So, Sophie here, at the absolute most, can do 22 damage. Roy can do 13 on his 11 is 24 damage. Blue, I, I don't, he has 9 strength. Just trust me, he can't do damage. 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 That's okay, what about my pre-promotes? We got 18, uh, 13 damage from the Lance is uh, 31 damage. So hey, she could use a Steel Lance and hit him for 4 damage. Um, Boris... Um, I don't think I have an axe strong enough. I mean, I could probably buy one. There's axes over here. But I think after I did all the math trying to figure this out, I think the most damage I could do between the strongest units I had, all with the strongest weapons they could do, was I could maximize seven damage in one turn. And that's if they hit, mind you. None of them had particularly good hits. It was all like in the mid 40s, maybe high 30s on the on the bad ones. So there was very little chance I would actually do all seven damage. The Firestone couldn't break, so I can't even just boss abuse until he was, you know, nearly dead. He has elixirs, so that's fun. He could just heal after I do some damage. But then, then as I was looking through my convoy, or I should say as I looked through this armory to find a weapon I could use, I noticed that the Steel Blade was the most damage I could do, and I was like, hey, don't I have a Steel Blade? I was like, maybe I could do some damage with the Steel Blade. And turns out, I can, in fact, do damage with the Steel Blade. But you know what else I have? Do you know what other weapon I have that makes this just cheese? That's right. I have the Light Brand. <laughs> so now, that is how I learned you can absolutely cheese this boss and every Manakite that is otherwise posing a problem to you until you get a dragon slain weapon since I was not able to get Durandal and never will be able to on this file. All you have to do is cheese, cheese, and cheese some more. 
Let's uh, see if we can take over all these forts here. Um, what else do I need to do, though? Um, oh, yeah, I needed an uh, elephant to come take that elixir. The elephant's on the way there. We're kind of wrapping this up here. Um, I think the pirates are going to be spawning, if not this turn, then the next one. Let's see here, what do we got? Turn 10? Uh, I think that might be this turn. I forget if they're turn 12 or what. Uh, sure, Roy can come over here. I don't want to burn my elixir. I'm about to get my other elixir, though. That'll be nice. Yep, there's the Merc. Yep, there's the Archer. I was like, pretty sure they're hiding there somewhere. Come on. Okay, they, they spawn, I think, on 12 or something then. Boom. Get there. Can you get to the fort? You can get to that fort. Sweet. So you can go hide there. Stop all the pirate spawns. Both these guys have seven moves, so they have a lot of ground they can cover. And he's got the steel sword again, thankfully. His steel bow is a little bit of a problem. Um, I think what I'm going to do is just back off and let them come to me, since they're nice enough to do that. Wait, you couldn't hit the tree right Yeah, I can't hit the tree right You can go hide in the tree. I'm gonna bring you up here. May as well play, why the hell not? I know I've been playing greedy this whole chapter, but I the end is in sight and I wanna take it a little slow now. As we finish up this chapter and hate to restart now. Okay. So if you come over here. I think I will Killing Edge just to slightly better ensure that this guy goes down. I got plenty of backup, but no sense uh, being too reckless. Roy. Uh, I wish I could do the axe to get some axe rank. Sort of is. Ah, Roy, really? I was hoping to sneak in Sophie and snag a kill. For, then there's gonna dance for her to put her back on the fort. Why you gotta be a jackass, Roy? Alright, fine, we'll do it this way. Um, he doesn't have two range. Yeah, mana titans, one of my five people. Don't fight him yet. Ooh, that's right, there's another mage hiding down here. Oop. Just grab the village. Yeah, 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 they take shit from you, I get it. Silver sword. Um, I forgot, I only had that for a short time. Oh yeah, it's kind of not that good. Um, the Slim Sword is still the best sword. If this guy aggroes, would be kind of nice, because then I could bring Sophie in and maybe get another kill. I don't know if she'd level up, but I'd like to kill if I can. Hey, he did come. Sweet. Oh, fine, I'm playing greedy. Well, not really greedy, but uh, playing like a douchebag, I guess you could say, because I'm going to feed another kill to Sophie if it kills me. It shouldn't kill me, but it could. Also, we have to sit through this shit again. All right, there we go. Please tell me you don't die. Oh, but you kill. Ugh. Kill very efficiently. Do I, do I potentially sacrifice Geese's life for a Sophie level up? Yeah, we're gonna sack Geese for a Sophie level up. We'll do it. 
Hey, Geeks didn't die. Yay! I guess. I think I'm gonna go for the accuracy just because we don't really want to whiff right now. Didn't get there, but that's okay. Alright. So we're gonna steal from him on the next turn. I got everyone standing in Lou's way. Cool, well done, Marcus. Boom. Boom, whatever. You've already slowed down to the point of not caring, really. Alright. Go for it. Yeah! So, as we can see, Lightbrand works. For those of you who don't understand why Lightbrand kills dragons, it's because when the Lightbrand is used at range, it will always do 10 damage, no matter what. So... You know, that's cool, right? Uh, um, uh, come here. Steal. Elixir. Like that. Geese, get out of the way. Roy, get right here. Make sure we dance for the right person. Come here, rescue, and back off to safety. There we go. And we have successfully cheesed the Manakite. On the next attack, we will have successfully achieved the Manakite. That's what I was trying to say. Well, so much for dancing to seize the throne, I guess. Fine, burn an extra use of the life. Actually, it's not any extra use because you don't lose a on a miss. Who would leave are you? Uh, I am the god of this game. Introducing the new dragon slain weapon, the Light Brand. And I want to verify. Yeah, we go to that village. That was the killer bow. All right, there. We're done. It's over. Boom! Western resistance. Look at all these axe users that prevent me from training Sophie. <laughs> oh, the Western Islands are such a bad location to be a lance user and locked to lances if you have anything else. Anyway, I will do some battle preps here and meet you guys at the beginning of chapter 10 next time. Thanks for watching and all that fun stuff.